Mott McDonald has over 16,000 members of staff in 150 countries. The company and its clients are involved in tackling many of the planet's most intricate challenges. Our reporter went along to find out how they attract the creme de la creme of young engineers in two key areas, power and railways. Shiwumi Kokar graduated from university just two years ago. Now it's his job to upgrade the power on 110 kilometres of track at Britain's busiest train station. New 10-car trains running from the former Eurostar platforms at Waterloo will increase capacity to accommodate the projected 40% rise in passengers over the next 30 years. For Shiwumi, it's satisfying work. That's why I go into engineering in the first place. I get to build the world I love. So I get to work on these things and then after it's finished I can walk out here and be like, I worked, I was involved in this project, I did that sort of thing. Yeah, so I take great pride in what I do and I think every engineer should. And as our population grows, engineers become increasingly crucial to tackling global issues like climate change and energy supply. It's a career that really matters. Engineers at Mott McDonald go to work each day knowing that everything they do is helping to improve the world we live in. It's not just the impressive infrastructure or the cutting edge technology that drives them. It's having such a positive impact on so many people's lives. On London's Crossrail, the new line connecting central London to Berkshire and Essex, work continues above and below ground. Mott McDonald's graduate engineers have contributed to the design of a huge ventilation system in the tunnel, which allows trains to be air-conditioned and improve safety. I always thought I could get on to an exciting project, but I didn't think I would be as influential in it as this. And I think that's been the exciting bit about working for Mott McDonald on this project, is you see where you can make a difference and what changes you can bring in. All projects start with design. If we do the calculations for the, the most stressed support system and then by definition the rest of them will be kind of more conservative. Yeah, that's correct. Seatharam Anantharam and his colleague Jack Hunter are working to provide power systems for a range of infrastructure projects using 3D modelling. It's something that really helps with our coordination of a design. So when you can physically see something that's going to be built, the clashes and the issues with the different disciplines are fairly obvious. But also the thing that I found personally is that actually when you go to the client and you say, OK, this is what we're thinking, this is the options we looked at, that you can really um, get across a lot more information. Engineering is more like you having access to an universal language. So irrespective of where you have studied, uh, the fundamentals are same, the basic principles are same. So it's as good as you're going to a place and you're talking the same language with someone without, without any hindrance or anything. And that kind of gives you a passport to travel anywhere you want. Renewable energy is one of the biggest areas of change. Faye Elliott has worked on a number of offshore wind farm projects that have been constructed off the UK coast. Since graduating, she's been involved with projects all over the world. What is it that you like most about engineering? Uh, I really enjoy the variation, uh, working on lots and lots of different projects. Get to meet lots of different people, go to lots of different places, uh, work on all sorts of things from investment through to research and development projects. It's a really good environment to be in. Mott McDonald believes that engineers can make a real difference to people's lives. Their graduates are solving the problems of the future, engineering a better world. Thank you.